sou a Andrea Calard a convidá-los para mais um Austrália Contacto. Como sempre, percorremos a Austrália acompanhando a comunidade portuguesa neste país. Eis o que encontramos pelo caminho e que hoje trazemos até si. O seu rosto é conhecido em toda a Austrália e os seus desempenhos nas grandes séries televisivas têm sido um verdadeiro êxito. Atualmente é uma das principais personagens da série televisiva Rush, em mais um sucesso do Canal 10. Chama-se Nicole da Silva e é luso-descendente. Nicole, tell us a little bit about where your family is from and uh, what made them come to Australia. Um, my family are from the Algarve, originally from Alt, and um, uh, but more recently Lole. Oh, they came out in the, the early 60s. They left Portugal looking for just better opportunities, you know, more work. Uh, they went to Brazil for seven years and uh, then they came to Australia, to Sydney. Yeah. And what do you think were their first impressions when they arrived in Australia? Oh look, I think, I think it, you know, it was the land of opportunity. Sempre sonhou ser a atriz, pisar os palcos e interpretar personagens. E foi com muito trabalho que criou um nome e um grande sucesso. I just loved it from the get-go, from when I was a kid. So there was really no other choice. I, I, I thought, you know, I'll go and study and I'll work hard, which I did, you know, coming from a good Portuguese family, you want to, you know, sort of do your studies and, and focus on your education. But um, I couldn't deny it any longer, so I went to drama school and ended up here, which is nice. Hi. You go through a whole bunch of different stages when you start out. It's such a difficult career for so many reasons because you're challenging yourself and, um, you know, there aren't many work opportunities. Um, so I think knowing what you want to do and not being given the opportunity to do it, it makes it really difficult. I think that's one of the biggest challenges, especially when you get out from drama school and you're ready to go, you're ready to act, but no one wants to employ you. What sort of advice do you have for young people out there who are seeking to, to follow in the same steps as you? Um, I reckon perseverance is the biggest thing in this industry and if you've got the will and you strive for it, I think you'll ultimately get there whether you start working at 17 or 70, um, but you just have to be willing to persevere. My first professional gig, I was maybe six months out of drama school and uh, I was teaching kids drama at the time and I was in the middle of a class and I got a phone call from my agent saying, oh hi Nicole, how are you going? You got a role as an ambulance officer on All Saints, which is one of our big hospital dramas. And I literally had to hang up the phone and then teach the next hour of this class and I was just so excited. You know, so it was massive. It was massive for me. So it was a six-month contract, and um, 
yeah, I, I did a lot of my learning on that show. Yeah, it was a, it's a great show here in Australia mm. and a lot of people watch it. Yeah. Um, what was the, what's the sort of things that you remember from the show? What were your favourite bits from that show? I really love when I when I kind of start roles, I really love immersing myself in the world of that person. So I loved all the medical stuff. I loved kind of getting the medical dictionary and knowing all the medical jargon and all that sort of stuff. Uma atriz versátil e talentosa como a Nicole, para além da televisão, também adora fazer teatro, tendo já criado a sua própria companhia. Face down and hands where I can see them off the door. Michael? I think I always loved the theatre. Well, because I'm Portuguese and I'm big and I'm loud and I talk with my hands. Um, but uh, yeah, I've kind of pursued it consistently as much as possible. And uh, I started up my own theatre company. And so we've been producing shows and stuff since then. A capacidade artística de Nicole leva a que a personagem que interpreta na série Rush se tenha transformado rapidamente no verdadeiro êxito. And um, you're now working on this great show uh, called Rush. Yes. And uh, and you're in uniform and you and you also have um, sustained an injury in your eye. You I want have. to tell us a little? It's not real, I promise. I have to tell my auntie not to worry about me. Hello. It's fake. It's makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, her name's Stella D'Agostino. She's a senior constable in a tactical response squad. So they're police officers, but they're on the road all the time and they're making, they kind of getting to the crime scene before it happens and trying to stop the crime before it happens. So it's pretty action packed, it's high paced. Um, you know, we're out there, we're driving fast cars, we're getting in amongst it all the time. And um, I suspect you have a pretty uh, busy schedule. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what your day is like when you're filming? Yeah, we average about a 12 hour day. Um, so we pretty much live and breathe it while we're shooting. We don't have much chance for a life. Um, you're here about 5.30 in the morning. You go into makeup, you go into wardrobe, you put your costume on, you have a bit of breakfast and then you shoot scenes solidly by a lunch break. Pretty yeah. busy schedule. Pretty busy. Yeah. yeah, but it's good work. That's fun work, so it makes it okay. And like we were saying before, it's you know it, it becomes a family who you're shooting with, and um, the cast and crew you know become your friends and your family. So it's nice. Is there anything you have in common with your character? Is there anything that you can relate to her on? I think she's pretty cheeky, <laughs> and I reckon I can be pretty cheeky too. She's a bit more self-destructive than I am. I like to take care of myself, whereas she doesn't really like to do that. Um, but yeah, I think the cheekiness is probably the biggest thing. Um, what was the most difficult role you've had to play? Oh, I think every role has its challenges. And I think um, you kind of, if it didn't have its challenges, if it was too easy, you wouldn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But the most difficult, I did a play recently and uh, the play was in development. So we were writing it as it as it kind of went along through rehearsals. And as you may or may not know, rehearsals are already so short and you get into the theatre and it's as though the play is still fresh. So, so writing it as you go, kind of developing the character as you go, is a pretty scary thing. And I think that probably had its biggest difficulties for me. Yeah, but it's still fun and still rewarding. Like, you know, the bigger the challenge, the more rewarding it is. And uh, what do you do for fun? Oh, I'm an acting nerd, so I act for fun, I have a lot of fun acting. Um, but look, in my spare time I love seeing my family and my friends, going to the movies, going to the theatre and just enjoying it. A carreira de Nicole tem sido seguida atentamente pelos críticos e analistas da sétima arte e o seu nome situa-se já hoje entre as grandes estrelas do espetáculo da televisão australiana. Uh, now in 2008 you got nominated for a Logie. Mm. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Oh yeah, so that was for a role I played in a series called Dangerous and uh, I was playing a criminal, so very different to what, I'm, <laughs> what I am now. Um, and uh, yeah, that was actually a peer nominated award, so I was really happy to um, be nominated. That must have been very exciting. Oh, it was. It was so nice to kind of have your work recognised, especially one of your first big roles. Um, yeah, I felt really honoured. And are you, do you have any big projects um, ahead of you? Uh, I'm looking into some overseas work at the moment, so uh, we'll see what happens with that.
Have you thought about doing some acting on Portuguese television? Is that? Oh, look, if Portuguese telly want me, <laughs> bring it on. We'll see what happens. I'm sure they'll take you on. I'm <laughs> sure of it. Any any love stories in your with your character coming up? Oh, <laughs> so many love stories with my character. Um, yeah. I won't give too much away though. <laughs> no, my, my character has a recurring relationship with another character called Michael, um, but she's bisexual, so she also has female relationships. Hmm. You're going too far. You don't make it easy, do you? Who wants easy? There is something I have to tell you though. <gasps> right. Something I'm meaning to tell you. Okay. We have to move on from here. Yeah. Mm. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now the other one. Now spread them. I still. Rush é uma série de verdadeiro sucesso, com grande audiência no Canal 10, um dos mais prestigiados da televisão australiana, onde o trabalho de Nicole sobressai pelo seu espetacular desempenho. Mas para isso, tal como os outros artistas do elenco, tem que se sujeitar a longas horas de trabalho, grande stress, muitos estudos e ensaios que para a série seja sempre um grande sucesso. Okay. Meu programa. Meu programa. Meu, meu programa. Ok. Um outro alô à minha família em Sydney, Austrália. Oi no canal 10. 10. Não, está bem. 10, 10, está bem. Está bem. 10, 10, 10. Meu português. Opa. Um outro. Um, um, outro, um outro alô à minha família em Sydney, Austrália. Oi no canal 10 para ver meu programa Rush. Tchauzinho, beijinhos. Cool. Now I know you have family in Portugal. I do. So you have loved ones over there. Yeah. Do you want to send them a little message? What would you like to say? I'd love to. Um, olá, a minha família em Portugal e Brasil também. A saudade e carinho com muitos beijinhos para todos e tchauzinho da Austrália.